Now from billboards like these to the quorum court meetings, the Saline County Library has been in the middle of controversy for weeks. So when do we get past the drama and on to the next chapter? Today we got the first public comments from the county judge on the matter. THV 11 Sarah Horbakowitz shares what the future could look like. I know that things have not been easy the past few months. In a regular Celine Library board meeting, members praise staff for their continued work as controversial regulations from the state and the county add complications to the job. With multiple threats, name calling, extra work that has been added, yet you all have continued to carry on in a very professional manner. The latest developments, an amended ordinance from the county judge that would give his position oversight for nearly all library activities, including hiring decisions. The judge sat in on that board meeting after holding a press conference today. If something is brought to our attention in a concern, if something is found to be valid, it must be addressed. Part of the debate surrounds where children's books can be stored at a library, particularly controversial ones. This is the children's section at the Benton location, but if you look behind me, that's the teen area. And so people are debating if that's far away enough and out of children's reach. The library should enact policies to relocate materials that are not subject matter or age appropriate for children due to their sexual content or imagery. That ordinance passed the quorum court in April. While not legally binding, library supporters have shared concerns over First Amendment violations, but the judge says that's not the case. And I respect others enough to sit down with them and explicitly explain why I believe the books that I do think need to be moved and not banned. So far, the library hasn't moved any books, leading to some public calls for the director's replacement. Overall, the judge hoping the drama settles with a joint solution soon. We are going to get where we need to be, and that is to have the very best library. The library is also searching for legal counsel as new regulations come out. Reporting in Saline County, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. Nearly 100 public comments have been made over the last few months about the Saline County Library. Right now, the library says only two books have been formally requested for review to be moved.